Three by-elections will be held in the city of Cape Town, six in Neisner and George, one in Saldana Bay and another one in the Drakenstein municipality. In the Cape Town and Drakenstein municipalities, all four vacancies are as a result of candidates passing away. The other seven positions that became vacant are as a result of the DA terminating party membership or resignations. In Ward 51 in Langa, four of the candidates will stand as independents, competing for votes against four political parties. If these are independents standing in competition with each other, they're going to split the vote very widely. If it's one independent standing against, say, the ANC or the DA, uh, a lot will depend on the circumstances. Is it, for example, that the local constituency of the party nominated uh, a candidate which was vetoed by national or provincial headquarters and therefore the outraged locals have put him up as a independent or as somebody in competition with the party. So these are some of the often occurring circumstances. The IEC in the Western Cape says by-elections are an important process of democracy. It's also important for political parties and for independent candidates who contest to have an opportunity to campaign and to go out and convince people uh, of the necessity and why it would be important for them to vote for them in particular. So these things all have to be factored in, you know, so, uh, and it's important for us in our democratic environment to give people that opportunity. The global pandemic, however, has hampered by-elections from taking place as positions became available. Samson says everything possible is being done to ensure voters will be safe. By-elections are also a barometer of what might possibly happen in a following bigger election, either provincial or national. Voting stations open at 7 a.m. and close at 9 p.m. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.